diva your favorite diva and i'm back go ahead and like comment subscribe let the diva know you stopped by make sure you subscribe if you like the vibe if this is your first time here welcome and welcome back diva squad because i give it three out of five stars it knew what it was and it delivered just that We're doing a trailer reaction and Leon. Leon on even the divas channel <laughs> what is going on you guys hey 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 i see you guys in the chat all right y'all let me say hello 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 yeah. hey kendall hey monique <laughs> <laughs> we are live here y'all for shogun i am so excited that we're finally able to go live with yeah. this oh let me go ahead and do my I'm Nita, your favorite diva. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you like the vibe. We here with my girl Monique Johnson. Girl, I really <laughs> want to call you Monique Nicole so bad. I know. <laughs> Monique Johnson, and we're doing episode five of Shogun Broken to the Fist. I already got some ratings in the comments. Okay. Are we gonna do that? Are we gonna do that? Um yeah, we can rate it right now. We're going to do it early. Yeah. Y'all going to be mad at me because I kind of went down on my rating a little bit. Girl, what you <laughs> give? I gave it like an eight. I gave it an eight because it was a little bit slower. I think it was my expectations because you remember I was saying that the shit was going to hit the fan right. this episode. So I think my expectations was a little too high. Mm -hmm. Still a fabulous show. Still love, love, love it. But that's kind of like where I was at with it. <laughs> I can't believe it nine because there's a lot of stuff happening. Oh, yeah. Definitely a lot of stuff happening. There's a lot of moving parts. <laughs> yes, we're going to be getting into it. Hey, Dow in for movies. What is up? Um, Hope you are current and everything on the show. We are getting ready to spoil the heck out of it okay yes we're gonna be talking spoilers we're gonna be getting to some things so let me go ahead and put the spoiler warning up there so you see it right there spoiler alert spoiler oh. alert <laughs> <laughs> yes i definitely love the episode no no shade to the episode at, at all mm -hmm. but like i said i think it was just my expectations and stuff like that uh for your predictions and stuff from the last right. episode yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, I, it went different than what we thought. Right. <laughs> That's for sure. Except for my one prediction. Yes. I think it, I think you know what? I was it was a little under climatic for me. Because mm -hmm. I, I thought they was gonna drag it out just a little bit more, but mm -hmm. we got it like immediately. So I was just like, okay. All right. How'd you feel about um seeing Bontoro come back? I'm like, yep, Nita said it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. After she showed me that uh clip that time, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You know he wasn't um unalive, so oh shoot. That looks better. Okay. All right. So, y'all, we're getting ready to talk about let me get these clips in here. Y'all, first of all, let me just um say some highlights for the episode. So the episode we basically we have a, a dinner scene between Blackthorn, Mariko, and Bentoro. That mm -hmm. was my light. I got a clip of it. The infamous Mar Mariko just sitting there as a bow literally goes like a half a centimeter past her goddamn head. Yes. So good. I'm glad you captured that because I was like, the yeah. disrespect. Okay. The quality isn't the best. <laughs> But it's, it's cool. But we got it. We got it. Okay. So I still haven't done the whole thing um, with the, the other way of capturing it. Then okay. also, too, we get Mariko's backstory. So that was another big part of the episode, her, um, her family's tragic history. Yes. And um, also, we had the um the mo the big earthquake not a baby earthquake yeah that was a big one. big earthquake <laughs> we had uh we had I, I love the way the show is um actually they're building up they'll set up a storyline i mean they'll set up something and then they'll pay it off so i, yeah. I like that we're getting that and they're not leaving anything kind of hitting 
right away. So I like that. Right. Um, it looks like some time has passed because we see snow. We it's see, like winter is, is yes, here. It's like they're they're um embracing winter. We see snow. Um, the big earthquake, um, where Toronaga almost was gone. He was almost yeah. gone. <laughs> He's definitely taking that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have that. Um, and our little gardener, oh my God, we had a moment where the gardener ends up meeting his demise, but his demise was twofold. Yes. It served as, you know, we're helping the the village, you know, reclaim and get that sticky. Sticky, sticky. it helped the village by that's get rid of the smell. Right. And also too, with the spy problem, you remember yes. um, Toronaga. Toshigi wanted to find the spy so he's like looking so they set all that up to be on him so i was like oh and he's gone anyway so right he's gone anyway. perfect so, yeah so i thought yeah. that was like a good play as well so yeah so yeah those are some of the highlights those are some of the highlights but we'll definitely be getting into them more and more so um we see we see um them talking. They're still on good grounds. However, Tornaga returns with Bantara. And we like, what? You see um <laughs> what is nigga medical uh face? She looked like she saw a ghost, baby. I was like, ooh, it's about to get messy. Yes, yes. I said, Oh girl, you just gave him the Mm -hmm. Just gave him gave him the pillow, and now <laughs> look at this. Look at this. I said, "Ain't that so?" Shit? I'm like, "Hmm, huh, look at him. He looking healthy, right? Don't he look like <laughs> like no scratch on him? He ain't look like he been attacked. Yes, not yes. a scratch on him. Exactly, exactly. I wonder so, how long uh, it been. Yep, yeah, I don't know. I don't know." Like, like I said, two months. Or okay, there's a, a funny know. thing going on where I can't really tell the length of time that each episode is kind of same here. You know, right. working on. So, all right. So the next episode, not the episode. <laughs> the, next, <laughs> the next scene. I think we're um looking at Fuji, and she is talking to. She's talking to Bantaro because. Bentaro, I don't know if he feels like he senses something, like something is different about the way, you know, Mariko is, is acting or the way, you know, um, John is acting. Different. So he's like sniffing around trying to figure out what the hell is going on. So she was just like, oh no, um, I'm I'm his consort, but um, he doesn't pillow with me. He doesn't like to pillow with me. He pill pillows with other people. I was like, okay, you know, like, uh -oh. yeah, she I'm like, uh -oh. <laughs> did she throw her under the bus? Or it, it could have been anybody because it um, could have been any, any times, yeah, there, there, uh, plenty, plenty, yeah. So, um, girl, and yeah. Bantero, and he was assigned to uh stay with uh John, so yeah, so that she could that's sell another of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was another thing. I was like, oh, Oof. no. Like, messy, messy, messy. Yeah. So, um, Tornaga has a talk with his spy. <laughs> and his spy is actually an undercover samurai himself. Right. And really good friends with him. And so he's, like, trying to talk him out of it because he's like, the block is hot. The block right. Is hot. He's like, no. <laughs> he said, you're going to keep on. You're gonna keep on being my spy and we're gonna you gonna find another spy, okay? So yeah. like we said, that worked out perfectly with the um sacrifice that we have with um the gardener. The gardener. Correct. So I, I like that move. Also, too, you know what? I'm gonna have to bump, I'm gonna have to bump it, bump it up to a nine. Because man, what I'm telling you with all this entry, intrigue and how they are how they're moving. The way when Tornaga actually was, um, he found out what was going on with his son, right? So his, he came back, his son, um, he found out what his son did. Yeah. He basically took 
took the um the canon re- regime from him. That was his punishment. So he's no longer. Oh, oh well, he did that. I'm like, that's it. Not a slap. Right, that's it. But <laughs> but if it was not for him, he wouldn't have been able to get the play that he initially wanted. And we'll see that clip as well yeah. once I get loaded yeah. up here. And the play is when he went to Yabashige, he was like, "My son ain't smart enough to to know what was going on." Yeah. Who did this? So he thought it was Yabashige. He said, oh, no, it could be Omi. He was drinking sake with him last night. Night, yeah. And he was like, oh, okay. So, yeah, he must have put a bug in his ear, all that stuff or whatever. So he was like, okay, okay, I see him. He said, you know what? Instead, I'm going to go ahead and reward. He was like, no. Yabashige said he was going to punish, punish. you. Mm-hmm. He said, no, why would you do that? He said, the fight. <laughs> The fight actually it worked out in his, his favor. favor. They're going to come to their territory and him having to oppose and go to their territory. True. So he has home field advantage. He has the big army, all that stuff. So he's going to initiate the war to come to him so that he can be on um, the better ground. Poor y- 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 <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> I can't even say his name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but she gave for him he, because he's just confused. Right. He was like, a, oh, that's what I was thinking myself. I was thinking that too. I said, nigga, you wasn't thinking. <laughs> he was not but, thinking. He just lost. Right. Lost in the sauce. But the way Tornaga's mind worked, like, I mean, every play, he kind of uses it for good. But I think he did get a misstep with that earthquake taking out some of his people right some of the people yeah. on the on the island so he don't have a bigger army as he thought he had but you know some some of the people so you, you know it's it's give and take or whatever so so good let me see <laughs> y'all she <laughs> i'm gonna call him yabu because uh, that is not <laughs> coming out my mouth <laughs> It's not flowing out my mouth naturally. So, right. So. That was just so funny. I was like, okay, okay, I see you, Tornaga. He flipping in reverse. They like, yes. <laughs> I was like, like, oh, okay. He's but he still punished his son. But in the end, it still worked out for his benefit only because he had the right mindset. Because he know he has to play three steps ahead. He was really pissed at his son. Him oh like, yeah, like stupid. Like you, you let them suck at you into doing that. Like. Yes, yes. And that's why I think um that whole broken to the fist, I think that title has something to do with that talk about how men, men's mind can be broken and broken you know, and they can use you, they can lure you and, and, and their intentions, they can play you. So Yeah, they can play you. He told him, he basically gave him the lesson, gave him the stuff. I mean, I guess you gotta I mean he been giving him the lessons for right, the but you gotta speak real plain. <laughs> You gotta break, the hell, you gotta break look. It. <laughs> you gotta break it all the way, way down. down. <laughs> right. Cause he just wasn't getting it. <laughs> right. So um where else are we gonna go in this episode? Let's see. The council, they still trying to get uh what's uh oh yeah the heir of mother Ushiba, Ushiba. They're trying to get her back from um, right, they they knew she was coming back, so lady. They Oshima, just waiting on her, and they yeah. think about a replacement for a uh, Toranaga place mm-hmm. in the council. Yeah, they was coming all types of I names. Think, low key, I think they're gonna need two replacements because um, Su- Sugi Suyama, uh, that coffin. Yeah, I, I noticed that too. I'm like, is you about to? Is you call something? <laughs> he I'm like, a little sick, sick. <laughs> Ishida was looking like, dude, are you okay? Is you on your way out? Exactly, exactly. It's too, too funny. Yeah, so um, I know I got a picture of Ishida. There he is right there. So yeah, they was meeting with the council. Um, there was some kind of um insults going back between. I think he was I don't, was he talking about oh no? Yeah, he's talking about oh no cousin. <laughs> oh, he said he don't want no. <laughs> Nobody was syphilis. On syphilis. His he said he'd rather cut his stomach. I was like, his belly. I'm like, oh my god. I said for real. Not, not in front of the guy. Talk about his people. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's that's that shade. Right. It was too funny to me. Um, too funny. 
MacBook. Still ain't even dropped to my MacBook. Okay. So where else are we going? Um, okay, this happened. Okay, no, let's go back to the dinner. Let's let's go back to dinner. Um, this okay. is the dinner scene. And they they basically was doing some kind of dick dick measuring contest, talking about who slurps the best soup. Slurping and noodles and then sake. <laughs> Then he was like, they might as oh, well we pull down their pants or whatever. We got, we got bigger cups. We use bigger cups over there. So he pouring all this sake and Fuji was like, oh, I don't want really to do this. this. Wrong road. Wrong right. road. So, because you know he's just an ornery, ornery man. So you know it's just not going to it's not gonna go well. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get this clip up. It's finally downloaded to my laptop. And the thing is about it is that there was absolutely no fear in Mariko's face. There was no I fear before. Right. You know, she said she wanted to, to um, do Septicu. Because she wanted to be, you know, with her family yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, not saying that she got a, not saying that she got a, a thing like she trying to. Right, Tamika. To they could have stripped or fought. Yeah, because they was just going back and forth, slurping noodles, drinking sake. No, you ain't gonna be able to hear y'all. Yeah. The gateway of your house. He asks you to choose a post. But he's going to choose it. The left or the right post. Oh, man, can't even see straight. Please. Choose. Right. Meaning I should have. Uncle, you should move. Uncle, look at Fuji face. She like, oh, my, oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. It's like half an inch closer, baby. That would have been her nose. <laughs> and I think he was telling on himself, too. Who was telling on himself? Um, John. John. Yeah, how he was so, like, concerned or something. Like, I think I if it was Fuji, he'd still be concerned. It's just how John okay. is. Okay, okay, okay. He he think um uh, the women should get a little bit more respect, as he stated. Hey Tamika. Yes. Hit the like. And you know, after this, he did mm -hmm. not he did not like any of what all that was. He was like this, uh uh, absolutely not. He didn't like he they rules, he don't like how they think so low of life, like they so quick to take. <laughs> Someone's right. life. Yes, it's crazy. But later on, so I don't think he's did anything because like the accuracy. <laughs> Look, <laughs> this ain't what you want, bro. This ain't what you want. You know what I'm saying? So later on that night, he went to bed. He woke up to Bantaro tan Mariko up. Yeah, he was knocking like ass around like a rag doll. Yes. Knocking her head in between the refrigerator, child. Um, she was all um bruised up or whatever. He left. Fuji was like, I couldn't stop him. He he's gone walking out of the village, and John goes running after him and his basically pistol, like, I think. yeah, oh yeah, he did have a pistol in his hand. Mm -hmm. And then um Bentaro, he he piped it on down. He took his little shoes off. He sat down, put his sword down, cause you know you can't you can't uh, unarmed person. So he kind of diffused right. the situation by you know bowing and getting down and stuff like that. And then he tried and he to put on alcohol. Alcohol. I said no, you ain't blaming it on the alcohol. Blame on the a a a a a alcohol. How rude! That's a lame excuse. Right. I said, your ass ain't shit. 
this um yeah this i had to take it back up to a nine because once i rethought about it i was like oh i was like maybe oh, yeah man. it's like it's one thing after another child <laughs> in this episode yes his little shoes to make us silly oh he got small feet <laughs> And, he said he's not packing like John packing. All right. <laughs> you probably all right. You probably hitting on something if, 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 if the rumors are true. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, okay. Also, too, uh, I don't I don't have a picture of Ishido getting um Josen's head. It was sent back oh, yes. to him. He received the package in the box. I said, oh. So, you know, he didn't like that at all. He did mm -hmm. not like that at all. But who cares? I know she do get my nerves the last couple episodes. <laughs> right. Then um, I wasn't able to get the clip of Mariko um, telling her story. But I do, I do think I had the clip of her actually explaining the source that he carries of Fuji's father. So oh yeah that is not you know <laughs> no that's the earthquake. Oh no this is him giving the swords to him. To Toranaga. Yes and you remember y'all if y'all don't if y'all don't remember um it was another thing that happened earlier where they say your words have meaning and he doesn't understand like you know he's talking in like metaphors and that whole thing with that bird and he said that if somebody touched the bird you're going to die yeah so that's how the gardener though, came on the line right even though the um the, the swords don't really come from anything but because he put it as a gift and he's the Hatamoto, and yeah. he actually saved his life. Now they bring significance and meaning, so he can accept them proudly. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. So that was one. Um, Basically, uh, Medico said that uh, Fuji father died <laughs> as a uh, wimp, as a sucker, as a wimp. Yes, yeah, a, a coward, I should say. Yes. And her grandfather bought the dang on swords from somewhere. <laughs> Okay, this All of this is my doing. Is no fault of yours. It look cold. It I know you see the smoke coming out their their mouth too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of beliefs they were given to our father as battle honor. The truth is, he died a coward begging for his life. Her grandfather bought them from the drunken samurai for three bags of rice to spare her the embarrassment. Three bags of rice. I'm like, like, yikes. <laughs> And she was basically um telling him in this in this scenario, she said she's not gonna she said value for people is where you put value at. So he um she said that she's not gonna be give him her hatred and, and nothing like that. No, no love and compassion and no hatred because that's what he merits. That's what that's what yeah, he wants that's her. what he wants. So yeah, so she said she will not give it to him. And then he, she also told him that, you know, because you want freedom, you'll never be truly free as well. So we had some we had some gems in there or whatever. So that was good. Um Yeah, because John don't understand how they live and what code right. they live by. Right. He's not he's not getting it. Yeah. I mean he ain't been there that long, so that's true. So what can you do? Yeah, to make a poor gardener. Yes, yeah. Poor okay. gardener girl. I, I mean, I like the gardener, but yeah, but he I guess he had to go by the by the standards of rules. Oh, this this was it right here. Mm -hmm. 
やなかの殿は上前逮捕隊のもと報告させまいとしてご決断されたのでございます長門はあのような策略を思いつくほど賢くはない恐れながら我がお命向けたことかと存じますあの日の前夜長門殿と酒を組み交わしておりました我がお命の言葉で Tyra Naga always pulling his card, man. He always pulling his card. Every other Yabu be looking stupid. <laughs> he don't know. He just is dead see. He has something like he found a way to force our enemies to attack. A promising young man. Boy, you was not thinking that, boy. You is so behind. Three steps behind, child. She is hilarious to me. I said, go ahead, Tor, Tor Naga. He, he be, he be on it. Mm -hmm. You got to. You'll be a great leader. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and what else do I have? Let me look at that. Yes, Kendall. Yes, he always like three steps ahead. He's playing chess, not checkers. Mm hmm. And yeah. if something divert his plans, he quick to think on his feet. Right. I'm still like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you so silly. <laughs> he like, mm -hmm. he, 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 the uncle don't have no clue, but only know what the hell is going on. Right. <laughs> mm -mm. Hilarious. What else like that? That's... And the thing that trips me up is. Yabu is not really up how he was talking to his nephew. I think I thought he'd be more upset. No, uh, when he was talking to him, I feel like he'd be more upset with the nephew for playing that in uh Taranaga's son ear. Oh, um, how he moving, yeah. But I mean, I guess he couldn't once he figured it out, he couldn't. I guess once he turned out yeah. rewarded him, I guess he had to like put that in the back burner. Right, but right. He's still on him about the spy though. He was still on him about the spy, so right. Like he gotta figure out something else now. Right. <laughs> um this is the clip of I believe them finding the spy. I mean finding the spy and the whole switcheroo of that. So he said we did have a spy. They, they set that up real good. He playing his role good, like an old village. Like he, he had like he, he don't look like no samurai. So, right, yeah. Absolutely. So I was like, I like that particular scene as well. So I captured a couple more and I have the very, very last scene. But and Yabu want his guy to go back to Osaka to uh plead to Ishidu while he's still trying to play both sides. Oh, right. Yep, he did send that, send that guy. The eye patch guy. I, can't, I don't know his name. So. Right, you keep on saying it. And I, I keep I'm going to keep calling him the eye patch guy. I don't know his name. I don't know how I keep missing it. I swear I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then also, too, let's go back and let's go ahead and play the, the last and final scene um, where Ishido and Lady Ochiba um, have a conversation. This hussy. I told you. Yes, underneath her sleeve. Oh, yes. Tairo,主は一杯食わされたとも聞いておりまする。大丈夫。なども Mm -mm. The 
with that smirk. <laughs> you fit for your son, future? Girl, you, want, you want some power. She's like, oh, really? Time for politics have come to me. The council will answer to me. Now, listen, I don't know how that's going to go. I mean, I understand you were, um, you're the heir's mother. You the consult to the Tycho and all this other stuff. That's why she said, let the uh, politics go. Oh. Don't go about what the rules of the written rules or whatever that's yeah. known to be. She said, let them go. We're going to do some unorthodox um, <laughs> over here. Uh. So that is unorthodox. It's not like. He, she only right. the air mother. No. She don't, really don't have no power. She right. only the air right. mother. So they have power. They have underhanded power, but they don't have like you know like yeah. wielding power. Like power. So, so this is a different move. Yes, yes. So I was like, oh, I wonder what's this response gonna be because uh, right. that's what I want to see the response because you know I don't know because he giving Toronaga yeah. so much flack and here you go. About right. to be infiltrated <laughs> by this hussy. But is Lady Ochaba, um, is she still connected to Tornaga in some type of way? Where I if, hope so, because she was staying in his place in Edo. That's what I'm thinking. That is exactly what I'm thinking. And maybe that is because she just showed up and he just showed up. Maybe he went to go consort with her, or maybe he wanted to talk Could to be. her. You know, um, you know, to, to lay out some plans or something like that. Let me get with the chat, y'all. I'm sorry. Cause she don't told him he need to return her. She need to return soon. So, hey, FSG, what is up? They don't take right. They don't take orders from women. So, I mean, I think what is going to actually have to happen. She's going to have to have some good plans. She's going to have to be talking a good game. Good game. Him mm -hmm. You know, and use I, her feminine wells. All of that. <laughs> all of that. So, yes, all of that. So, yes, yeah, so I'm definitely waiting to see how this is going to go. Super duper excited for it. It is so good. We already gave our ratings. Everybody gave it 9, 9.5. They love the show. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, you say, um, Tamiki, you say poor Gardner. I don't see it that way because you know it's in their customs their life is for the greater good you know what i'm saying so i think he would he lived a long enough life and um i had a picture of him but he was so nice <laughs> he was. i'm glad I, i'm glad they actually did that off camera um another thing what is he is he dead it was off camera. It was <laughs> off camera, oh, but I don't know. Maybe, I mean, maybe. But, that was but what's her name? Fuji. She looked really shook up. Yeah. So I yeah. don't know. No, she told him that she could take. He could take her life for doing that because. But I mean, you shouldn't have been mad. You don't want to say it. What your dumb ass talk about? Anybody yeah, but he didn't know they. They it, like literally like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, um, man. so I think she's the one that did it or ordered it, so right because she is like a protector, of his uh, what's that right. called? The affairs, she take yeah. care, of, take Fair. care. Yeah, she said she did it. She said oh, it. yeah, um, solid 9.5. Okay. husband wilding out the earthquake, mudslide, everything was so wild. It was good, it was. And then we got a lot of character development. Um, we got a lot of we got the moves, you know, the all of the maneuvers and stuff like that. Do you think going for oh go ahead? I was how they gonna prepare for this war and the earthquake is happening in what? a village? It's like crazy. It, they gotta maneuver that and be prepared is. for attack. <laughs> right, right. 
So y'all rated it, but let's go ahead and talk since we got uh another like 20. I'm not going to hold y'all for a long, long time since we kind of got through the episode. But let's go about some of our favorite moments. So who was your MVP of the episode? Ooh. MVP. Dang. It I'm definitely still giving it to Tornaga. I, I would say it's either Tornaga or John. John, okay. Okay. Cause he's really heavy in this. Him and Tornaga is really heavy. Right. Right. Absolutely. In this episode. And we, we already went over like some of our favorite scenes and stuff like that. So they were fire. You know, the way they just the way they write it is just so yeah, so good. So um the OMG moment. The OMG moment for me was the um it had to be the, the um the 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 darts across Mariko's face. The dick measuring contest and him wilding out. The whole thing and her not moving and like that close to death. Like, I mean, it was like a half. No, my OG, OMG moment for me when he was knocking her outside. We can hear him knocking her yeah. across the floor. Yeah. I was that, like, oh my God. That was one no, of he my, ain't. My clutch <laughs> my pearls moments. I was like, woo. I'm like, don't, please don't show him knocking her, her little self. Across right, the floor. Right. And um <laughs> that I know you fucking last scene. That would be the earthquake scene. That, yeah, that, that came out of nowhere. Really, I, him going off that cliff like that, I was like, <gasps> I was <like, laughs> stood up. <laughs> like oh, right. God. And then he, they couldn't find him. He was like really under so the I'm like, he's taking the dirt nap for real. For real. he like yeah. under there, under there. Yes. I'm and so they saw his little fan. He's here. Right. His little fan. Like, but then he keeps that joint because like he got menopause. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Work out the <laughs> fan with the quickness. Yeah, that's funny. Um, what else we know? Uh 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 uh. Okay, so we only got the only death that we got in this particular episode was the gardener. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, I feel like it's for a greater purpose, a greater um, the greater good of what we Yeah, talking. but yeah. I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, we still don't want to see it, you know. Like, yeah. At least um let me see what else. The douchebag. Who's the douchebag of the episode? Huh, it's plenty of them. <laughs> On me. Right. Uh, um Yeah, no. Yeah, boo, he was he was just dumb. Oh. He was just dumb. Oh. Poor thing. Poor thing. Right. Three steps behind. Um, douchebag. Let's see who else? Who else I got for douchebag? Let's see. Douchey, douchey, douchey. Oh, her husband, Medico. Yeah, him. There you go. Yeah, Matara. There you go. Him. Yeah. How can I forget? Right. <laughs> oh, man. He yeah. mad because John went up in it. <laughs> he's like, I can't prove it, but god damn it. I bet I if he pillow with his wife, I bet he it would feel different. <laughs> right. That's what I'm like. I say he 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 can't call it. He can't say it. He can't prove it, but he feel it. But he always feels something. He was treating her like that when they was in Osaka. Right. He never Ooh. really <laughs> and that, I need to start carrying me a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the earthquake scene, yes. So good. That's all like I had to capture a couple of things. So yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We got yeah, it. it's trash. I cannot with him. Yep. All right. Well, that's it. I ain't gonna drag it out no more. Y'all got any more questions for us or did we miss Monique? anything? Yeah, did we miss anything, Monique? Um, anything else you wanna cover, talk about your favorite moments? This was a good midpoint. This was a good midpoint. It's a, it's a nice build up episode. Only thing I, I I gave it a nine. I took a whole point because we see Taranaka coming back, but we never got to see or hear where he been. Right. He just popped out of nowhere. Like everything was everything. <laughs> he sure did. I'm like, like where the hell you been? 
Yeah. Nobody asked him. Well, thank God. I think it's, like I said, <laughs> they set it up and then they're going to pay it off. So, not this episode, but maybe the next episode. Like, when, so, when we start seeing um, Lady Ochaba, when we start seeing her plans and her some, moves. we'll mm-hmm. probably get more about where he went in his little secret rendezvous. <laughs> okay, so if she if if Shido is on board, I wonder what the other council members gonna feel about her. Right, you know, it's always um, Kiyama. He always has like yeah something to say. He gonna have something to say. Right, that's a given. That's a given. Um, Sugiyama, eh, I mean, he pipes up every now and again, but not too much. Pretty much, he be yeah, he be chilling. He be chilling. But like, and I- the other one who got the. <laughs> <laughs> who's covered oh yeah oh no oh no yeah it's definitely <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no oh no oh no don't take it off oh no <laughs> leave it on oh no <laughs> right oh yeah y'all i forgot to tell you that um john ran back after the earthquake back to the village and he saw he looked like he was worried about Fuji. Yeah, he y'all was. Think, do y'all think that there will be some pillowing between Fuji and John? Does that seem like that's where it's going to go next? It because depends on. Bentaro is back in Mariko. It's in America, Mariko. Yeah, I mean, like, she closed the door to me. She closed the door to me. So I, I thought maybe he'll pivot and. Child. developing some type of feeling she her. left that she left that bitch crack okay she ain't fooling <laughs> nobody she ain't closed it all the way she left it crack okay yeah really? fuji is underrated she's like one of my um like the women in the show period lady ochaba um mariko and fuji yeah I like all of them yeah i, I like them they got them. yeah they got something with them there's something yeah. hidden with them yeah definitely smart women um, and we saw America in Comeback uh, episode three. Yep. When she was help fighting. So we know she can do Comeback. Yeah. So <laughs> the, store is, the, the door is still ajar. Okay. okay. Yes, Kendall. Little foot in and, and, and crack it on open. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know what her husband going to do. Mm. Right, right. Like I said, I think it's, I think it's too risky. Um, but the fact that she doesn't want to be here anymore, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something else to that. I don't know. Who don't want to be here anymore? Um, well she said she um Marika. Like she doesn't ma- she doesn't it doesn't matter to her or something. I don't know, but I so think Fuji, she- like she don't want to be here either because of her people gone, but I oh don't yeah, know. we still need her as an interpreter. So like like um Tornaga said, he was like this, he can't be hurting my um interpreter. Yeah, he said he he said he can treat his wife, however, but as not my translator. Exactly, exactly. He he. Um, do you I wonder if they're gonna be he any punishment. Also got up, he got up and he was saying, "I ain't got time for this foolishness." Like they was going back and forth about something. Can't really oh, but John, um, what was that wanted about? to leave. John wanted to leave because he felt like he put up his uh end of the bargain of the oh, deal okay. of to train with the cannons and stuff like that. He yeah. wanna get his man and his boat and whatever and leave. Sell off to the sunset child. Like, Nick, Where is these men I at? Bigger, I don't know. Bigger things to, bigger fish to fry. <laughs> right. So so yeah that was that was funny too. So um yeah so that was the douchebag. I think that's all I got for um the titles. Um do we what was our goofy moment? I think the goofy moment was um <laughs> not you got pulling out the goofy. <laughs> I think the goofy moment was this right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nabu, he he goofy. He goofy. He's slow. <laughs> sorry to sorry to that man. <laughs> Sorry to that man, child. Right. Because you remember the point out the goofy for the last episode was not the, was it the last episode? Was the men just standing there? You remember you took off for half a point? Yeah. Back. Episode three, man. They were just standing there. And then Bentaro getting communicating with Taranaga from afar. It was just so freaking weird <laughs> to me. I'm sorry. Right. Point out the goofy. That's how we figured out that he was not. 
underlying. Right. They were just too weird for my taste. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. It was a great episode. Tamika couldn't have said it better. I want to thank all of y'all for staying. FSG, Kendall, Tamika's Den, um, everybody in the comments. I'm glad y'all liking the um, show because, you know, it seems like it's a slow start for some people, but yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Doubt and peace. Daria, everybody that came through. I know y'all could be anywhere else, but you chose to spend your time with us in the chat and do this live y'all and i have another live that's coming up at 905 so i gotta do a little bit of preparing so i'm gonna get on off of here and we're gonna do this every single wednesday 7 35 est so come back for episode six next week and we'll see you later y'all bye, bye. I should already have it queued up.